So, testing. Hello, it's uh, Psycho Dragon. I just wanted to give a little tutorial for those who might not know how to do so or know where to do this from. Uh, my objective right now is to show you how you could uh, make the um, outliner work without using a click of a button. Um, so, I don't know if you hear my dog, excuse them for a second. So, if you, if I have right here, if you already know, if you bought this character, you know that in the main character, uh, demo character, on started, the outliner goes here. And so, when you click with your button, the trace happens. However, I prefer to use my controller for um, everything and uh, for all types of controls. And so this is why I did. Now you could do begin play, and there you can do like a, a set timer by event would be a good one. Or you could also do event tick, but I would I always try to avoid event tick because I think it's uh gonna cause a problem with performance so but i usually do it as soon as i possess uh so as soon as i possess a character because i'm trying to do a like a, i'm trying to imitate dragon ages characters uh swap um in my game so what i did is is you could like, cast to the uh outliner character uh i would Normally, I would prefer to use a blueprint interface, and then that way, like, go to class settings, pull it up here, go down here, make a reference to self, which also, uh, I was told it it does um, it's better. But um, anyways, as soon as you possess, you get the outliner advanced or abstract. You check if it's valid, make sure you have it on the character. If it is valid, you make a reference to it, and you run scan for interactables. Now, what you could do, if you don't want to do it the way I'm, I'm going to show you, is set timer by event. You have to do event. Eight event. And there we go. Scan for interactables, right? You could do it this way. And that's the thing. All right, but I'm going to show you this way first. Uh, let's make sure you click looping and point zero zero one. All right. Um, but this way I'm going to show you is basically the exact same way. Uh, so I have here the whole thing. That's here. It's still the whole thing, just some minor changes. So I don't need the, the get player controller because this is the player controller. All right. So I've made a reference to self instead. Uh, we still check if we hit something. If it's false, we go down here. We're checking if the outliner target is active. Now this is new. This is not a part of. This originally, see, it's not part of it originally. If it is active, I, I did this check. I probably don't have to do this, but I did it anyways as a precaution. That's another reason why I did this here. And I removed the uh, uh, reference to the outliner target. And I come here to M, the macro scan for interactables. Basically, all that is is a delay node. For whatever duration you want to set it to and a reference for scan for interactables that's all that is so you go down here did you hit something no if you didn't hit anything obviously check if it's valid because that way you can clear it out that's like in case like for example if you move let's say this is your inner uh your outliner target and you move and you're not hitting anything within the distance of the uh of the trace, you might want to clear the outliner out. 
That way it helps the player uh, not stay focused on it. Um, so then there's that. Then I also have, since I have an outlier target, I do another check. Is it valid? If it's valid, is it equal to the target? Am I hitting the same thing? If I am, if it, if it's, it is equal, so it's like here, it says it's not equal. So if it is, if it is equal, if it is this the same thing we're hitting to, we're not doing anything other than just resetting the whole trace. If it, uh, if it's a totally different target, and it met all these other previous conditions, then we put the, then we set the outliner target, then we move on to here, and as you can see. I took the rest of the nodes out and I just put outliner target here, here. I put a scan for interaction because now that we have an outliner target, we don't really need to uh, set it, uh, to take, uh, get rid of it. We just do this here, uh, here, same thing. We just, oop. Did I forget? I think I forgot. Yeah. Outliner target. There we go. And then either way, at this last check, either way, we reset the scan. So let's check, test it out. As you can see, I got the ray trace. Let's go through here. Like you see, you can talk on the action event, right? As you can see, it works. And I'll do the same thing again. Where's that? Where's that? But. I'll get rid of the the uh, debug. Let's try it again. So now the trace is invisible. Let's see. Still works. You can see the same features. So that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way I was saying that you could do it as this, but if you're gonna do it this way, then I highly suggest you get rid of this. Make sure I got rid of all the macros. I mean, there's lots of different ways you could do this, but this is just to, in case people are having troubles or didn't know how to change this out. Or if you're not familiar with UE4, UE5 yet. This is UE5.1, by the way. See, it still works. still works all right now you would have to do a timer by event uh actually no you could even do i think you could even do this as a timer by function here uh if you wanted but 
yeah. So that's what I just wanted to show. Uh, I know uh, Hyper doesn't have a, a lot of tutorials out, so I just wanted to get, share this one. I am not posting this on my U YouTube channel. I'm basically using this on the Discord channel, unless I got permission from Hyper to post it, because this is his code. I did not make this code, and I had to pay to use it. So uh, this is more of a, a helpful thing for people. All right. If you got any questions or uh, ideas to improve it, let me know.